Hey folks, Duger Dice here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, got my stick in hand, so that means we're doing our Niste Mono today. Today we'll be covering a simple stick combo, and I'm going to split this up into two parts. First, I'm going to show you the stick techniques without the footwork. Then I'll show you the techniques with the footwork. So we're just going to do the stick techniques from a simple right foot stance, meaning left foot's in front, right foot's in back. Left foot is pointing toward my opponent. Right foot is pointed toward the wall. This is called a bow stance. So from here, we're going to get into an angle six position. In other words, I'm holding my stick horizontally with the tip pointed toward my opponent. And what I'm going to be doing is that instead of a normal angle six where I'm attacking the heart, I'm actually going for the eyes or the throat. So all I'm going to do is thrust my stick out and then back in to my left side. So all I'm doing is I'm going from right to left. Okay, pretty simple. One more time. Angle six, I'm going for my opponent's right eye or right side of the throat. Then I'm going to bring it back to my left side of the body. This sets me up for the next technique. And what it is, it's just a simple jab. That's all it really is, is you're just going to do a short flick of the wrist with the stick. And this is what it looks like. All I'm doing is just flicking my wrist. And I'm kind of using my thumb to push the stick forward. So that's the flicking motion I'm doing. So let's do that together. First we're going to do an angle six. Then we're going to do that little short jab. Okay, from there... We're going to go into an angle two. And it's important to get this angle correct because the strike is a diagonal strike. You're going from your opponent's right shoulder to his left hip. Okay? If I was doing, doing it with a blade, it would be a cut. So I'm going from right shoulder to left hip. So let's put it all together now. Angle six. The jab and then angle two, the diagonal strike. One more time, we're going with angle six from right side to left side, jab and then angle two. Now that we've done the techniques, let's add the footwork. And all I'm going to do from that right fighting stance is I'm just going to step through forward with right leg. And I go through with that angle six. Now I'm in a left bow and arrow stance. My right foot is pointed toward my opponent. And my left foot is pointed toward the wall. And now that I've gone through, I've done that angle six. It puts me in a position to throw that jab. So it's just a short flick of the wrist. Okay, so let's do those together. All right, we're in our right fighting stance. We're going to perform that angle six going from right side to left side, stepping forward with the right leg. From this left fighting stance, bow and arrow stance, we're going to throw that little jab. Now, we want to clear the way for that angle two strike. So what we're going to do is we're going to step back, right leg, as we perform that angle two. That's it. That's the entire combo. So let's do it one more time. All together, we're going to go angle six, right side to left side. We're going to step through with left leg. Then from that left fighting stance, Left bow and arrow, we're going to throw that little jab. Then to clear the way for the angle two, step back right leg, 
then perform your cut going from right shoulder to left hip. You're going in a diagonal motion. If it was a blade, you would be cutting him right to left. Okay? Now, as you perform this more, it'll become fluid. And that's all you want to do is just practice this for about 10 minutes every day for about a week. And then it'll become fluid motion. That's the combo I want to share with you guys today. I hope you like it. If you, if you have any questions about it, please hit me up in the comments section. Uh, and please come and subscribe to my channel. Uh, like I say, the more the merrier, the bigger this uh, community grows, the more things we can do. And please give me a like. Uh, this is Duger Does saying thank you for joining me and do good and deuces. Bye-bye, y'all.